everyone, Johan from Diabolo Lounge here. In today's video, we're gonna go through how to make passing in Vertex. First, I'll explain what's gonna happen. So for this, you will need a partner, so you need to be two people, and one of you will speed up the Diablo in Vertex, and from there, Diablo will be thrown to the other person, and then you can just go back and forth pretty much constantly if you want. There are different variations to do the throw to the other, so I'm gonna go through a few things that you can try out first. So the first one would simply just be after you've been speeding up, like in vertex, like this, then you will literally just open the knot and throw it over your left shoulder to the other person. And another variation would simply just be after you speed up, you do the stopper and after that you throw over your right shoulder. And then you can do a thing that's called the back wrap, which I actually like a lot. So after you've been speeding up in the vertex, you do the stopper and make a back wrap with your left stick. After that you let go the Diablo into the middle so the sticks, everything's in the back wrap. And after that what you will do is that you will bring everything between your hands so it comes in front of your stomach and then the Diablo is going to be free to fly when you push it forwards and spray your hands. Also do the back wrap by doing the vertex, you go to stopper, you bring it back to your right side, throw it up in the air and catch it with your right hand from the back and then you bring it towards your left, to the middle and throw it to the other person. Also to keep the Diablo as straight as possible in vertex position, you can also try to rotate yourself to the right side while you're doing the turn with the Diablo under your arms so you can throw it because with that you can give a little more speed into the throw and then you make sure that the Diablo stays more stable. Sometimes after the back wrap and you just stand on the spot and bring the Diablo here to the middle It might tilt a little bit to some direction and it's not as straight as it could be So the rotation gives a little bit more stability to it But of course with practice you will be able to do it uh, standing on a spot really well, so no problem And for the catching part, I find it easiest when I keep the string tight like this and try to catch it on my left side. And from there, I pretty much already go into a back wrap. And the way I want to return it is that I bring again underneath my arms and throw back to the person who threw it to me. Or then I just make it with the rotation and then throw. And the good thing with the back wrap is that when you catch it and you start pulling more with your left hand it's gonna increase the speed in the Diablo so when you do passing to each other like this you're gonna keep going forever if you want. When it starts working well from a certain distance then you can increase the distance you can do higher throws or whatever and you can just let your imagination take you away and create new stuff 
For example, the other person throws it and the other catches with a whip catch. That's all for today, thank you guys for watching, remember to practice and if you are a lot of people who want to do this together then you can for example stand in a triangle, you can stand in a square and just throw the Diablo randomly back and forth to each other and have a great time. Until next time, bye guys!